news tonight, the FBI director says that suicide bombers will strike the United States. It is inevitable. Lie detector tests for hundreds of government workers. An ABC News exclusive in search of the person who mailed the anthrax. An epidemic of con artists, legacy hunters, and other criminals. We'll take a closer look at cheating older Americans. And what will become of the polar bear if they have to do with less ice? Is there trouble in the frozen kingdom? From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Good evening, everyone. We're going to begin tonight with a question of safety. The director of the FBI said today that suicide bombers are going to attack in the United States. It was the second time in 24 hours that a senior official in the Bush administration has said some sort of attack was going to take place here. The FBI director, Robert Mueller, said he thought a suicide bombing, similar to what we have seen in the Middle East, was inevitable. And his remarks have certainly added to the tension. Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, is here and picks up the story. Well, Peter, as you know, Mideast groups meet regularly, but today, American intelligence and law enforcement officials tell ABC News that al-Qaeda leaders joined these Hamas and Hezbollah leaders in a secret session in Lebanon in late March to discuss tactics and an unprecedented level of joint activity. Officials say the summit was the springboard for a new round of attacks they fear are being planned now against the U.S., Great Britain, and other targets. Intelligence on the meeting has been passed to the FBI, whose director, Robert Mueller, today talked of the possible consequence of such an alliance. His prediction of almost inevitable walk-in suicide bombings in this country. I think the FBI director is erring on the side of let's shoot straight with the American people and really tell the American people what might be ahead. This war is not over. Officials say the growing concern is based both on intercepted messages and the fact that the secret summit in Lebanon marks the first time Bin Laden's al-Qaeda group has put aside rivalries to work with others, such as Hezbollah and Hamas. Now that we think that they have been meeting and discussing, uh, I think that's a startling development, and it makes it very, very uh, uh, dangerous. Officials believe al-Qaeda has already begun the next wave of attacks. An al-Qaeda official claimed responsibility over the weekend for the bombing of an historic synagogue in Tunisia last month, captured on a home video camera. The blast killed 19, including German tourists. And French officials believe Al-Qaeda was responsible for a bomb blast two weeks ago that killed 11 French civilians in Pakistan who were on a secret military mission in that country. And now American officials fear that a series of apartment building bombings in Russia blamed on a Jordanian-born Chechnyan with Al-Qaeda connections could be copied in this country. Apartments were rigged with explosives disguised as deliveries of sugar and then detonated simultaneously with truck bombs outside the building. More than 300 people died. Despite the public warnings of the FBI director today and the vice president yesterday, the official threat status in the country remains as it has been since March when the administration announced its color code system. Yellow, Peter, which stands for a significant but not high threat of a terror attack. Which leads me to a question I've heard several times today. And do we believe this is new and valid information? Or, as some people have asked, is it the Bush administration trying to distract people's attention from the fact that it's been criticized severely in the last little while? Well, it's some of both. This is new information that the law enforcement officials we're talking to say they have decided to put out much more than they ever have before in a public way. But it also has the benefit of distracting attention from the signals the administration so badly missed prior to September 11th. Mm, okay, many thanks. Brian Ross.